there welcome back to caroline's handmaids this is friday sews for friday june 9 2023 thank you all for coming back again to watch my channel i want to start out by saying thank you to so many of you who have subscribed in the past week the past few weeks i really appreciate you coming i love to chat with you in your comments i respond to everyone's comments i thank you thank you for just coming and you know taking the time to watch it means a lot to me so thank you so much friday sews is a hashtag started by jen from today in jen's sewing room she'll bring us all sewers together to talk about a little bit about what we've done during the week a little bit of our plans for the week coming upcoming week and a little bit about life let me start out today with uh, answering Jen's question because I keep forgetting she had posted the question and I have it already here in my on my iPad. She says, are you a shade tree mechanic? She says, that's someone in the past who would do their own repairs on their cars. Are you brave enough to do maintenance, basic maintenance and even repairs on your sewing machine? Or do you leave it to the experts? Do you take yours in for yearly maintenance? I am not a shade tree mechanic. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. Nothing to repair. My, neither is my husband. We take our cars to the shop because we don't fix or repair anything. I think once we've done it, once my husband and I uh, actually repaired our oven, he ordered the part and we install the new coil in the oven and we were so proud of ourselves um that's that's about the only thing we've done and lately my husband's been uh getting me into repairing like faucets changing faucets that are old or something like that but no we are not shade tree i am not a shade tree mechanic um and i do take my machines in for repair don't even try that nope nope no my machines whether it's the my brother surgers or anything or my uh, high-end like machines like the viking actually most of my machines are vikings um no it's too complicated to take this beautiful baby in it's a Husqvarna Viking designer Epic 2. It's the embroidery and sewing machine. I am not, for the price of this machine, I am not going to even attempt to do that or my other Viking soldiers or anything. Um, my husband actually, I'm so blessed that my husband gifted me. He upgraded my old, the designer Epic 1 to this after I finished all my cancer treatments as a gift. Well, I'm just so blessed. And um, yeah, I have to take it in for its one year service actually coming up soon. So yes, I do take my machines in for servicing, not all of them, but this one, I this one and the old designer Epic, I did take it in. I take my surgeries in. That's the answer to Jen's questions. The answer is no, I'm not a shade tree mechanic definitely not so let's talk about what I did this past week oh before we go on I am wearing the love notions melody Dolman shirt I love this shirt I love it's I don't find good uh, woven can't say that properly patterns um, but anyway this and this one is one of a very nice cool fitting summer top i love this top uh, i actually have the dress cut out i think no 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 i do not i actually made a dress and if i find the picture i will put it up i made the dress of the melody doman dress as well so this is the shirt it's a nice cool uh fabric lovely top love notions is another one of my favorite pattern companies 
easy to sew comes together in about an hour and a half to two great great one so just wanted to share with you so what did I do this past week look what I did I don't in my past for last week's Friday sews I talked about all those patterns that uh, I wanted to sew up for June and July they're here I cut them all out it took me mm, Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday four days to cut out and trace out I have two more out of the box over here uh, to cut out these ten patterns it was quite a job but I'm so glad I got it done and now I just need to find the time wherever I find time I'm gonna sew them up I do have some deadlines to meet for Kashmirat by June 20th I think but that's what I did. That's all I did. And I didn't get a chance to sew this week. Just cut out till Tuesday. Every time I wanted to come down after dinner, I was just too tired. My husband and I are early. We go to bed early because he wakes up super early to go to work. Um, so we're in bed between eight and nine. But we're early risers um so anyway that's all i did cut up patterns this week nothing much other than that i do have this week's uh plans i can share with you i have two plans that i can share and one that i can share i'll share it uh, in july because that's the cashmere club pattern so the one that i'm going to sew up this weekend is the cashmere hampton dress I cut it all out. I'll put a picture of the pattern and let me show you. I cut it out of this. I hope I'm showing you the right. Yep. I cut it out of this beautiful fabric from, I think it's the wrong way, from um, Fabric Mart Fabrics. Obviously, all my fabrics are from Fabric Mart Fabrics. So, <laughs> most of them. So I'm gonna make that and I also one of the patterns that I cut up is this now I cut this shirt up and I think I cut view this view view a out of this fabric it's a Egyptian cotton I love this Look at that it's a beautiful Egyptian cotton I purchased a while ago because it was all washed and ready to go in my enormous stash um, uh, it, this fabric was from um, fashion fabrics club so I'm gonna show up sew up that shirt and then I have another, the, uh, the cashmere uh, pattern for the club pattern for July. It's all cut up. I can only show you the fabric because I can't show you anything else. <laughs> Sorry for all this crinkly noise. It's all the paper, tra uh, you know, the tracing paper. Of it here, I'll just share with you the fabric. Um, beautiful, beautiful fabric, and I got this fabric at um, Fabric Mart Fabrics. So that's going to be three makes. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get this done this week. I'll at least get those two done: the Hampton dress and the Simplicity shirt for my husband. But that's all for the plans for the coming week a little bit of life my daughter and my son are out of school now for their summer break my daughter and i are going to make a little trip to new jersey uh from maryland it's i think it said a four hour drive i told her to wake up by six it's going to be I'm, i've taken it's a long weekend, the Juneteenth weekend. So I took a 
we are all already off from work the Friday afternoon. So I just tacked in the Thursday and the Friday morning. And I think we're going to make a field trip to New Jersey. There's this town called, I'm not sure what the name of the little street shopping district is, but it's called, I've heard some people call it Little India. So my daughter and I want to get some, at least she, I have tons of Indian clothes, but my daughter is saying that she, her clothes are a little outdated. And we were actually, we used to go to India almost every year and the pandemic stopped it. And obviously because of my cancer treatments. And since I'm still a little bit, you know, doing the after treatments of the cancer, I still am not that comfortable traveling all the way to India. And she loves to do all her shopping there. So we're gonna go to Little India in New Jersey and it, it reminds us that street there is full of like Indian clothes, Indian food, and it should be a fun day with her. Uh, so I will share with you mm, our trip, a little bit about our, of our trip next week. But that's about what our plans are for, my plans are for this week. Um, it's a short, short Friday shows this week. I thought um, before I go, I would share with you my favorite, another Bible text that I read in my morning's devotional. And this one is found in Philippians 3.14. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I thank you all for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram at Caroline's underscore handmaids. I also, like I said, thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for commenting. I always look for comments to reply because I'm so excited. Um, it's a, just a small little start out growing channel, but I thank you so much. Take care and have a beautiful and blessed weekend. And I hope to see you all soon. I think I'm going to do a cashmere review of one of their patterns this weekend. Thank you all again. Take care and God bless you all. Bye-bye.